Hi, this is Jim McConnell coming to you from Redmond, Oregon at McConnell Labs headquarters. Uh, today we're going over SDS sheets and how to read them. In today's SDS sheets, we're going over section three, the previous two videos about SDS sheets. One, the first video was about the entire SDS sheet. The second video is about sections one and two. Today, going over composition and ingredient information. What do these things mean? So when we take a look at the first chemical here on the list, the bis hea ipdi ppg 53 copolymer, what is that? So PPG is polypropylene glycol. There's 53 of those long. It's capped with IPDI, which is an isoforone diisocyanate. And the isoforone diisocyanate, diisocyanate is reacted with HEA, or also known as hydroxyethyl acrylate. All of these are bound together to form a polyurethane acrylated material. And it is bis HEA, so the HEA is bound to the whole whole system, the whole molecule. The IPDI is also bound to the PPG, so there's no free IPDI. There is no free HEA in this system. There are no monomers in it whatsoever. Second ingredient, bis hema polyneopentylglycol adipate IPDI copolymer. So what does that mean? Again, IPDI, that looks pretty familiar. So we're gonna go over that maybe just briefly on this one. But the polyneopentylglycol adipate is a polyurethane polyol that's in the backbone of the material. It has two hydroxyl groups on it. Hydroxyl groups are oxygen and hydrogen combined. IPDI is isoforone diisocyanate reacted with those two hydroxyl groups. And then the IPDI is capped with HEMA. So the bis HEMA, two HEMA groups, two HEMA molecules reacted with the IPDI, which is reacted with the polyneopentylglycol adipate backbone. So it is a methacrylated urethane material. And so that makes it quite safe. Again, no free HEMA, no free IPDI in this one. And so the next ingredient, bis HEMA, polybutylene hexamethylene carbonate IPDI copolymer. Again, IPDI should look fairly familiar at this point. Bis HEMA should now look a little familiar but what in the heck is polybutylene hexamethylene carbonate? Again, that's a polyurethane polyol that's in the backbone with a specific structure that will give us good rigidity. And so we have the polyurethane polyol capped with the IPDI, capped with the bis HEMA, so two HEMA groups, no free HEMA, no free IPDI in a very safe oligomeric material. Isobutyl methacrylate is a monomer. We use it to increase adhesion and decrease viscosity. PEG4 dimethacrylate, again, it's also a safe methacrylated monomer, helps reduce that viscosity. Trimethylene propylene trimeth trimethacrylate, and again, reduce the viscosity. Hydroxycyclophenyl ketone is a photoinitiator. Bis trimethyl benzoyl phosphine oxide is another photoinitiator. Then we have our pigments. They may or may not contain it. So the titanium dioxide is in there, a, a red, a yellow, and then some, some iron oxides to create some brown tints. So those are all in there. Um, this product is pretty darn safe. So we're all good to go. It does not contain any free HEMA, any free HEA, or any free IPDI. Thank you very much for your attention. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be going over sections four through eight. We're going to kind of bang out a couple here pretty soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.